Chapter 20 In those days Hezekiah was sick unto death. Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came to see him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Remember now, Lord, I beg you, how I have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in your sight. Hezekiah wept greatly. It happened, before Isaiah had gone out into the middle part of the city, that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Turn back and tell Hezekiah the prince of my people. Thus says the Lord, the God of David your father. I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal you. On the third day you shall go up to the house of the Lord. I will add to your days fifteen years, and I will deliver you in this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city for my own sake, and for my servant David's sake. Isaiah said, Take a cake of figs. They took it and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. Hezekiah said to Isaiah, What will be the sign that the Lord will heal me, and that I should go up to the house of the Lord the third day? Isaiah said, This will be the sign to you from the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing he has spoken. Shall the shadow go forward ten steps, or go back ten steps? Hezekiah answered, It is a light thing for the shadow to decline ten steps. No, but let the shadow return backward ten steps. Isaiah the prophet cried to the Lord, and he brought the shadow ten steps backward, by which it had gone down on the dial of Ahaz. At that time, Baradoc Baladon, the son of Baladon, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he had heard that Hezekiah had been sick. Hezekiah listened to them, and showed them all the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices, and the precious oil, and the house of his armor, and all that was found in his treasuries. There was nothing in his house, nor in all his dominion, that Hezekiah didn't show them. Then Isaiah the prophet came to King Hezekiah and said to him, What did these men say, and from where did they come? Hezekiah said, They have come from a far country, even from Babylon. He said, What have they seen in your house? Hezekiah answered, All that is in my house they have seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not shown them. Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord. Behold, the days come, that all that is in your house, and that which your fathers have laid up in store to this day, shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, says the Lord. Of your sons who shall issue from you, whom you shall father, they shall take them away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Then Hezekiah said to Isaiah, The word of the Lord which you have spoken is good, because there shall be peace and truth in my days. Now the rest of the acts of Hezekiah, and all his might, and how he made the pool and the conduit, and brought water into the city, aren't they written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? Hezekiah slept with his fathers, and Manasseh his son reigned in his place.